What it do, baby? What's up, phenomenal family? My name is Zanele, and as always, my duty is to bring you entertainment that is nothing but phenomenal. Namshanje, as you know, we are bringing you an episode of Idol's Essay with the contestants that made it all the way to the top 10. And I am so excited because we're sitting down with the man who not only has all the talent, not only has all the vibes, but he owns the stage when he is there, and he also crept into our hearts as Imzanzi. I am talking about CMZZ. Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> Hi, my love. How are you? I am good. Thank you. Welcome to the show and thank you so much for joining us today. I am. I am excited. I am grateful. Mm -hmm. I am grateful for the opportunity. Yeah. You know, um, I started off as a vocalist from the East and from Itakani, only wow. singing for my community and my friends and my family and then now idols gave me an opportunity to present to Siam Zizi to the whole of Africa Dude. so I'm grateful yes. I'm grateful and it literally mm. is to the whole entire continent yeah. I think that's something that not yeah. everybody is cognizant yeah. of but just talking about you saying that you're a young boy yeah. from the East Rand yeah. tell us about Little Sia what was it for you that Us genuinely was your yeah. dream um Sia um Papa Mm -hmm. Papa. Love that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sia did everything. Mm. Uh, I did chess, I did choir. Yes. I did uh, drama. Come on. I tried soccer. Mm -hmm. Wasn't my thing. Also me. Don't worry. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. But by my love for music, I've always loved music. I've mm. always loved performing. And I think from high school, when I got my first chance to perform in Jobbik Theatre, yeah. I think that's when I was like, okay. Being an artist is my thing. Yes. I think it's my calling. So, yeah. I definitely think that everybody can see that it is your calling. Yeah. It is what you are meant to do on yeah. this earth. Yeah. And that's definitely why you got to top seven, Tanwa yeah. Sam. But just with you growing up and now being only 21 years old, yeah. you said you had to make a decision between school and idols. Yeah. How did you even begin to make that decision? Um, I think I auditioned for idols because I was tired of being comfortable. Mm -hmm. I think as an artist, as a vocalist, as a musician, I was comfortable. Yeah. And I want I wanted the feedback from Abanyabantu. You understand from yes. Africa, from South Africa. So I was just taking a risk, man, and I just wanted to be out of my comfort zone. Not saying what the school was going to be my comfort zone, <laughs> yes. but you understand. Um, I had to choose idols. Yeah. I had to choose idols because. I just wanted to take chances, man. I, I wanted to learn, I wanted to challenge myself, I wanted to challenge my gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, was, I wasn't expecting top 10, I wasn't expecting top 16, top 7. Top 7, babe. Top 7 now. Yes. I, yo, I'm proud of myself. I, my love, I'm we proud are of proud of you. And yeah. I, more than anything else, I also think that this is a huge validation for yeah. you, yeah. that your future is so bright. I know yeah. that I can already see it. Come on. But <laughs> one thing I also want to know is, what did the family say? When you were like, no guys, I don't want education. Yeah. I'm going to idols to time my chances. What did they say? So I didn't tell anyone that I sent my audition video. You stole your yourself and then there was the email from idols telling me good i they're considering my audition video uh -huh. then there was the whatsapp from the idols production team telling me good i'm going to audition for the judges wow then there was four yeses yes. came back and i was like guys Gila. and then they're excited and they're excited <laughs> and then sayulala and then my mother wakes me up man around 11 and she's like hi man and then what about school <laughs> <laughs> you know, it only hit on Yeah, later. you understand. Yeah. And then I was like, I can, can, can I for once do something that will make me happy? Oh wow! I also, I also want to go to school, guys. Mm. Um, um, I love education. I believe in education. Yeah. But can I just do this for myself? Mm. Yeah, but you understand. Let's just take chances and see what is really like. Yeah. And she was like, let's do this. I think I saw that support their talent mm. or dreams which aren't related to school, you understand? Yeah. And for her to say, I believe in you and let's do this. I'll hold your hand. Aww. It 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 meant a lot to me, man. It really, really did mean a lot yeah. to me. Yeah, and I can yeah. imagine that she's so proud of you. If she I'm is. sitting here and I'm proud. <laughs> I, you mama must be through the roof. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, but Sia, you really did so well. And Thank just you. looking at you and your journey, you've also yeah. grown so much. Yo. What would you say was something that you genuinely took from the competition that has made you even better as a performer? I think for the longest time, I have doubted my voice. Mm. I have doubted my truth. Yes. Um, Idols helped me to embrace the criticism that comes with being myself. Sure. 
idols made me believe in my truth and in my voice you yeah. understand i feel like i'm one contestant who had a different sound <laughs> yeah. who had a different vibe and for abanyabantu they would see that as something epitai mm. but for me i embraced everything about myself i believed in my artistry i believed in my voice i believed in my truth and idols gave me a platform to tell my truth yes you understand yes. so i'll forever be grateful for that man oh babes and tell yeah. your truth you did yeah. and it was so beautiful as yeah. for us to watch it yeah. but i also need to ask you because you know with the highs there's also the lows yeah and of course it was a competition yeah so i've been part of like a presenter search competition yeah. before and that thing is difficult yo. what would you say was the most difficult thing about you getting through idol season 17. yo i think like believing in myself mm. there were days where i was like what the f am i doing what here? are you doing here what, what, what am i doing here mm. am i good enough <laughs> you understand <laughs> yes. and the contestants oh man they have been amazing they really? held space so whenever i had those days or those moments or those episodes they would remind me to know you are amazing you deserve sure. this so i think i almost lost myself I almost stopped believing in myself. Mm. But again, when I get on that stage, I remember to get to know, man. I'm a star. You understand? Yes. From 15,000 people, you are part of the top 10, top 9, top, top 8, top, top 7. seven. So, Top Shayel. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, babes. You got through it, and you honestly, in my eyes, just by yeah. you getting to where you did, you are one of the winners indeed. Thank you. And 100%. Thank you and so also, much. I also keep asking each and every person that comes yeah. and sits on this couch where you are. Yeah. I feel like each week, right, the judges come at you guys with all of these different comments and things yeah. like that. I want to know what would you say was the worst and best comment that you got from the judges? The best comment uh, was from Timbi Siete, uh -huh. I think last week, for a showstop. Yes. She was like, I have a unique sound and oh. I have a gift of making... guys, And it's really hard to make Leongoma mm -hmm. And I think I've done that very, very well. Yes. I think I'm make it my own. And she told me, I should believe in myself. And I should believe that I deserve to be on that stage. Wow. That really, really, really meant a lot to me. You understand? Yeah. For the longest time, I have, I stopped being kind to myself. Mm. And hearing me tell to say that to me, it reminded me that I need to be kind to myself. I need to believe that I deserve each and every greatness that's coming my way. Yes. And then I had the Ringo performance. Tell me about the Ringo song. Who chose it? So I... Initially, I wanted to do Kum yeah. and they're like, no, we've done that song before, let's do Sondela. Mm. Okay, I was like, okay, let's do Sondela, but I don't want to do the original version of that song, understand? Mm. I only to find out with South Africa, they relate to the original version, understand? Mm. So, some people felt like I was doing too much, you know, and then there was the pronunciation situation. Yes! And... I mean, I feel like the judges forgot about my singing. They couldn't even focus on my singing. Because, because of the mispronunciation. They said, they said nothing about my singing. The, the remarks were not based on my singing. It mm. was the mispronunciation. And then I went to Twitter. Ooh. <laughs> were they roasting you? Ah. <laughs> oh. oh, no, baby. And I think one of the biggest mistakes I did was stand there and show Guti. Yeah. Bunga yes, that you didn't know it. Yeah, I understand. Guti, mm. I was destroyed. And... I could tell from my face, so people could tell, but being, being given another opportunity to redeem myself. Yes. Yeah, show stop. For show stop, I was like, hi there. They're going to see me. Let's do this. You <laughs> understand? And I had one day to learn young and until I show stop. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Yeah. And I feel like at the end of the day, with all of these different things that happen, where yeah. things don't go our way, yeah. it's more than anything else a yeah. lesson, right? Yeah. So never again will it happen, which yeah. is amazing. <laughs> But my love, of course, this is the first time ever that yeah. you have made it all the way this far yeah. in Idols. Mm. What would you say is something that you believe is going to help you in terms of your career ahead? And what can we expect? Um, I think staying true to myself mm. and being with Siam is a long way. Yes. I understand. I don't want people to... I'm a different person or when you have conversations, I'm a different person. No man gain a stage. You understand? I want to be as honest as possible so that the artistry I'm in my music and my craft can be honest also. Mm. Um, that's one thing I'm going to take away, man. Being honest, Nje, with my gift and with my 
deliverance also. Yeah, so, and yeah. I'm glad that you understand that it's a gift. Yeah. And I'm so glad you decided to share it with South Africa. Yeah. And you mentioned even earlier on that you are so excited for the future. Yeah. When are we getting music? What can we expect from you? What genre is it going to be even? So guys, I, I, I do everything. I'm okay. easy, man. I'm easy. I, I don't want to limit myself. Mm. I mean, we are in South Africa. At the end of the day. Yeah, you understand. Mm -hmm. So... If you quite do yeah, bang I love you that. Understand? Yes. So yeah. But I'm a piano, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd I'd love to do my piano private school, my piano. Private school, my yeah. piano. So you don't want the the, the other piano. <laughs> no, 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 not Zongo. No. Please can you respect South Africa? <laughs> <laughs> my brother. But I, I, yeah, I'd I'd love to do my piano. Yeah. I, I got a very important call yesterday. Ooh. After I got evicted. Yes. And yeah, we have the CMZs again. Hi, okay. Kutha, we have the We're ready. Personally, yeah. I am ready. I yeah. know South Africa is as well, yeah. especially with how you honestly blew us away with your talents, Tanwasa. Thank you so much. And I'm going to ask you to please blow us away once again. I want to take you back to your audition yeah. that day when you stole yourself and you didn't even tell your family yeah. that you were going to choose Idols yeah. over school. What song did you audition with? And can you please sing it for us right now? So I auditioned in. Ndiketewana by Anissa Hako, she's mm. one of my favorite artists. Yes. So, yeah. Ndandi se zinde twa Wazongu manam data teka zibe kwa Litandu buse bako baby nyaba bona bonke Age kofana nawe usispi wokum Bararara ngubo bonke Ndikete wena. Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness! Why did you stop? <laughs> See ya! Ndikete wena. I was expecting that when I come to Zoom to me. Oh no, I'm sorry, but it was amazing. Thank you, you are so talented. How much do you charge to like sing somebody to uh, to speak? Um, I, I don't, I, I don't know. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Perfect. Yeah, no Perfect. problem. Love yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I am so excited for your amazing future. Like I said before, thank I know that so it much. is so bright. Yeah. You're only 21 years old. The world is your oyster. And thank you for blessing us with your gift once again. Thank you so much, guys, for loving me. Thank you so course. much. Thank you so much. And can I ask you, just into the camera, to yeah. all of those young people out there that are looking at you and saying, one day I want to be like Osea. Yeah. They're there in the East Rand and their dreams are big. What would you say to them? Um, one thing I think um, we do as young people, especially for young people from Ikazi, uh, we tend to limit ourselves and we live in an environment where they tell you, you know, mm -hmm. your dreams are too big. Um, do not ever, ever underestimate your capabilities. And do not ever, ever underestimate God's timing. Um, I feel like God prepared me for Lentengu Yomanje. There were days where I was like, I want to stop singing. I want to stop singing, you understand? Because things are not working out. Mm. But trust me, trust me, trust the process, man. Trust, your, trust the pain, man. The scars, embrace them. Embrace the criticism because it prepares you for Logo Kulu. I think everything that I've went through, the good and the bad, they prepared me. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell you, Guti, your dreams matter. You matter. Be kind to yourself. Be honest. Stay true to yourself. Before it's present, have, have some time to yourself and ask yourself, Guti, who am I? And when you get those answers, be true to yourself. Be an honest artist so that people can love you and embrace you and accept you for who you are. Yes, baby. The same yeah. way Zanzi did with you, Sia. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Thank you so and much, guys. please, can I ask you to sing us out one ah, last time? God. And this one, you have to get a little bit creative. <laughs> so we ask everyone to sing Phenomenal yeah. TV, Nothing But Phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah, so you can put it in any melody you mm. like, whatever comes to mind first, from your heart. Phenomenal TV, nothing but phenomenal. Woo! <laughs> and just like that, we wrap it up here on Phenomenal TV. Thank you for joining us once again. We'll see you next week when we have the next person who made it to the top six for Idol South Africa Season 17. From me, Zanele, it's a whole lot of love and bye-bye.